Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through operating cycle of working capital, guys. So in our previous lecture, we have gone through working capital and its types, right? So now let us go through the operating cycle. So this operating cycle is nothing but how you are converting your cash into goods, your goods into finished goods, and you are selling them and you are returning cash. So here, this cash you will be getting as a profit, right? So some profit you will be getting. So that profit you will be investing, and this is a cycle, guys. Okay, so I will just going through the diagram. After that, we'll be going through the explanation, guys. So initially, with the cash, you'll be purchasing raw materials. So now you are having raw materials. So now you'll be proceeding this raw materials to your production unit, and you'll be asking them to produce or work in pro work for something, some kind of product. So for production process, you'll be sending them. That is nothing but work in progress. So after that, at the end, you'll be getting the finished goods. So those are nothing but production process is still going on, and you got the finished goods. After that, you will be selling, sending those goods for sales. That is nothing but account receivable or debitors. So you will be sending them for sale, and at the end, you will be getting the realization. That is nothing but your profits or loss in terms of cash. Okay. So again, you will be investing some money in your raw materials, and this process continues. So if you got huge profit, you will be using that profit also, and you will be increasing your production rate, right? So in that way, this process continues, guys. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through the theoretical explanation. So initially the conversion of cash into raw materials. So this is the first step in the in the manufacturing firm. Cash is used to buy the raw material. So you will be buying cash. You will be buying raw materials using cash. So converting conversion of raw materials into working work in progress. So after purchasing the raw materials required for manufacturing, the next step is to start production of the product. So now you will be starting the production of the product and raw materials are ready with the help of the labor they are converted into goods so with the help of your labor or any kind of workers you'll be converting them into your finished goods fine okay so even you you will be giving some finishing touches right so will you let us assume you are having a wood wood factory or anything like that so you are you are having some workers who will be doing the cutting the wood and uh, nailing them according to your requirements right so there is some requirements like polishing it like uh, painting it like adding plywood to it so these all things come under the overheads guys or we can say these are nothing but finishing touch so that those will be coming in this cycle guys so if you observe here we have given work in progress twice so producing process producing process so raw materials to work in progress you'll be getting your temporarily finished goods so this temporary finished goods will be converted into finished goods by using some giving some finishing touches for it fine so goods are ready now finishing touches are given those are nothing but overheads now the final product is ready for sale so you can write in in a bracket that finishing touches are nothing but shade may uh, highlight sorry polishing it adding something painting it coloring it like that okay okay so the next step will be the conversion of finishing goods into account receivable or debitor so this is a step where the sales starts the sale of the product which can be converted into cash or credit okay so conversion of account receivable into cash so this is the final phase where all the receivables are converted into cash so again this cash will be invested in your further business so this is the cycle of working capital guys so now let us go through a small example so that you'll be having a clear idea so let us assume assume a guy want want to start a business and he collected 1 lakh cash and in that 1 lakh he have just spent 50000 to buy the raw materials and he was assume that he was manufacturing the wood sorry he was manufacturing tables so he, he is cutting the wood he is making his workers or the laborers to cut the wood according to their requirements and to manufacture it so once the manufacturing of a bench is done they need to add plywood to it or any kind of material to it so that it looks really good or attractive and they need to smoothen the curves or the sharp edges that is nothing but they need to do smoothening so finishing touches of the product are given okay and once they will be sent to sales and they'll be getting some cash back so now this cash is inverted again so this process continues so you will be investing it again that's not inverted it's invested so it will be invested again in a further business so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture we'll be going through some problems on working capital guys thank you thanks for watching